So ahead of Walmart's Investor Day in Bentonville, Arkansas, the retailer putting out some updated financial forecasts for the next year, so its fiscal year 2020. The full year guidance now reflected to update that Flipkart acquisition. The retailer had expected that it would dilute earnings between 25 and 30 cents. 25 cents is indeed the dilution. So the new forecast is for earnings to be between $4.65 and $4.80 for fiscal year 2020. Net sales expected to grow 3% constant currency for that full fiscal year. Walmart also expects its U.S. comp sales growth to continue to grow between two and a half and three percent. Walmart is looking for U.S. net e-commerce sales to grow approximately 35 percent in fiscal year 2020. And then when it comes to spending, the CapEx level, it's going to be around where it was the last couple years at $11 billion. It's going to remain focused on things like store remodels, supply chain, and technology. Now, the retailer also expects to expand its grocery pickup to 3,100 locations, grocery delivery to 1,600 locations, again, by the end of fiscal year 2020. And I spoke to Walmart CFO Brett Biggs on the phone. He says Walmart, quote, feels good about the things we can control and that it plans to be, quote, innovating more and more quickly than in the past year or two. When it comes to the impact of tariffs, Big said he's going to talk more about that today, but the plan generally is to, quote, manage margin in a way that makes sense for customers and for shareholders.